Hello there, this is Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today, wherever you are, when you're watching in this wide world of ours? A huge uh, shout out and hello to you. First of all, let me get the gratitude um, up front and centre. Thank you to those that have support this channel in any way that they can, whether that's through comments or through donations. Uh, all is uh, kind, kind comments. Uh, uh, all is gratefully received. Um, also, I make no apologies. This is a pro-democracy channel. Um, we focus on many things here from politics to uh, mediumship through to um, tarot scopes, monthly tarot scopes through to uh, esoteric channelings, you name it, we do it here. We um, are focused where we need to be focused um, at the time, whether that's on Ukraine or America or somewhere else on climate change. The topics are diverse. All right, um, today we're going to be looking at um, a couple of things, actually. I think it's going to be quite an interesting reading. We're going to start with the appointment of the new special counsel, Jack Smith, um, who was a former prosecutor of war crimes at The Hague. I think, you know, among other things, he was also a... Uh, U.S. attorney as well. Um, I uh, think it's a very, uh, very interesting choice. Um, I, as you know, I, I uh, predicted that the House would be close, and um, it was a hard call. But I stepped back from that prediction when the Republicans took the House by a, 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 a you know, not many votes, uh, not many seats. Uh, I stepped back from really diving too deeply, you know, in retrospect, uh, looking at my prediction in retrospect, because I thought that anything can and will happen, and predictions are nuanced. So, for example, there are moderate Republicans who have already said that they will be, uh, they will join with the Democrats to get a non-extremist uh, speaker. I think that's going to be the way it will roll. I think that there will be Republicans in swing seats that will want to scuttle the kind of extremism that we see from characters like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Jim Jordan. On that, why I'm going to start with Jack Smith is because it's been discussed that the reason that Merrick Garland, the US Attorney General, went for the special counsel in relation to the January 6th uh, investigation is my, is my gut feeling, is because this could be investigating members of Congress. It could be over the attempted coup. It could be so wide. And indeed, if you look back at my predictions, I, I've said that when we finally get to the indictments, it's going to blow our, you know, what we thought we knew apart. Um, it'll be a case of not getting the popcorn. It'll be like, you know, lift your mouth up off the floor. So I want to test that theory today. Uh, it is the special counsel, Jack Smith, investigating any members of Congress over the attempted coup. Uh, it could be wider. He could be um, actually investigating a Supreme Court justice wife, for example. On that, it has been revealed over the weekend that Justice Alito could have been responsible for an alleged breach of information uh, in a previous Supreme Court case and that he could, some are saying, that he could have been the leaker over the Dobbs, um, the over, the case to overturn Roe. Um, if we've got time, we'll look at that. I, I think it's long past time. As, as someone who's looking on that has experience in the Westminster si uh, system of democracy used in the UK through to our Australian um, parliamentary system to Canada and also being fairly close to the US system of democracy, uh, it is past high time that that Supreme Court had some rules and guardrails and reg beyond regulations, some codified 
rules um, because it's turned out that justice could, justice, alleged, Justice Alito could have been fraternising with those that were uh, close to the case that was being heard at that time. All right, so um, back to Jack Smith. Is he, is he? Is he investigating members of Congress? I think, will he indict fairly quickly uh, on the classified documents case? My feeling is, yes, he will. I think that's pretty open and shut. Case including um, specifically the obstruction obstruction uh, case that Garland would have. Then I want to turn my uh, attention to Elon Musk and the America's Town Square, which has become the global town square and the demise of Twitter as we know it. All right, so let's start with Jack Smith. I'm using a new deck uh, that I've got the other day, the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. It's quite a pretty deck. All right, let's start with Jack Smith. Let's see what I can see clairvoyantly. Is he investigating members of Congress? Is he investigating? Is the special counsel, Jack Smith, which who has been retained to investigate uh, January the 6th attempted coup as well as um, the classified documents, uh, case against the former failed president? Let's see. Is Jack Smith investigating will his will he be investigating members of congress for their part in a in an attempted coup so what i'm seeing is a door being opened almost like if you remember i think that was done in one of the state legislatures that was at arizona uh funny i should go to arizona um was it arizona yeah one uh 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 a, p a person in that legislature opened the door and let protesters in. Uh, that wasn't in the Congress, but I'm actually seeing an open door. The way that Spirit gives me these messages is through these images. Somebody on the inside working to help the, um, the attempted coup. Wow, okay, so what else are we seeing here? Okay, I'm getting the letter Y. I'm not, not sure. I'm not sure why. Okay, so let's see. Um, is Special Counsel Jack Smith investigating? Oh yeah. Okay, so there is a com there's compelling evidence that this also also included an inside type of assistance here, and that would have to be a member of Congress. But let's see. Is Jack Smith, the special counsel, investigating members of Congress for the attempted coup? Okay, so we've got the um, Knight of Pentacles. So that's uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, Earth energy. Uh, this is slow and steady progress, reliability. In the very early days, I have signifier cards, right? So... You know, those who uh, think about astrology and uh, tarot, these are cards that mean something to me, um, the tarot reader. So uh, this is this was my um, card, my signifier card for somebody that was a pretty loyal servant to uh, to the former failed president. Now, we have the Queen of Wands um, as the other signifier card here. You know, this this is a uh, this is a fire energy. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be associated with Sagittarius, but that is my card for Sagittarian Leo Aries type energy, a fire energy, um, a woman. Okay, so we know who the women were. There was uh, Lauren Bobert, who, by the way, really really scraped through. My prediction was she she might lose her seat that was my prediction it came out of left field and before I closed the reading down I said I think she's in trouble I think she might lose her seat she scraped through by 500 approximately 500 votes in a very red district in Colorado by the way uh, I have to acknowledge those that were gunned down in a nightclub an LGBTQ light night club uh, and lost their lives through a crazed gunman. And, of course, Bobert, with her prejudice and bigotry and her, her megaphone, has accelerated and amplified hate speech. 
I'll get to Twitter soon because that's what we're seeing on Twitter now. These people who are responsible for hate speech and inciting um, bigotry and racial violence, even though they might not say go out and gun someone down, they're doing exactly the same thing, are allowed now back on Twitter. So here we have the signifier cards. Does it involve anybody in Congress? Now we have here mortally wounded, retreat after battle, retreat after battle. So, I mean, that was sort of like what happened uh, with the attempted coup. It was a failure and, uh, and there were people that were, that were killed, that died on, on that day. So it can't be left, can it? It's, it's, they've prosecuted those that were actually in the capital, but it went, you and I know it went beyond that. So we have here retreat, somebody who stepped back. So we have here strength. Their strength is in the past. Funny I should go to Bobert. She's now in a very marginal, very, very marginal seat. She's now walking away from Trump and throwing her weight behind Ron DeSantis. Okay, we have moderation and temperance in the sky crowning this reading. This, this full investigation, the special counsel, as much as and all as I was disappointed, I thought, no, you know, Moolah, two years, and look what happened, Barr came in. But Merrick Garland is the AG now. Uh, he has already said that the cases are well advanced and a Jack Smith will come in and pick up where they've left off. In order to achieve this healing and moderation, uh, there has to be the transparency. Now, we have the Seven of Pentacles in the immediate future. So this is a plan that hasn't gone the way that they wanted it to. Now they're looking at Plan B. Um they weren't ready to indict on the January 6 crimes by the time Trump announced his candidacy. That almost, because I think that they are going to indict, that is why the special counsel was there. So they had a plan A, they had a plan B. And I'll say this to you. If, there, if Garland had no intention of indicting, he would not have brought on a special counsel. Okay, so now we have manifestation manifestation in the here and now what are we manifesting what are we manifesting uh, does it include congress the five of swords uh, this is an abuse of power you know this card reminds me a little bit of josh hawley with his hand in the air that's in the here and now now we have the star card in the hopes and fears um and i do want to Every time I see that star card, I retain or my hope gets gets a boost. So we have the three of wands as the outcome card, waiting for one ship to come in and also foreign foreign in, in influence as well, overseas kind of um, themes are coming through here. Uh, they've done, it's telling, that's a yes card by the way, They've done a lot of work already and my initial question or my initial uh, preamble was I thought that the experts who felt that the special counsel was brought on because this involves members of Congress, that it is wider than what we think, seems to be borne out. Um, mm, clarified by the five of wands, this is the partisanship the um, obstacles and challenges um, here. Again, putting obstacles delay. If they knew about the attempted coup and they sought to delay, then that is aiding and abetting a crime being ta taking place. And we have here the Six of Swords. Uh, this is travel, relocation, moving out of troubled water, waters, knowing... Knowing the movements of the Proud Boys, Oath Keepers, those that sought to remember, they had guns stored over the uh, over the river or, or waterway that they were ready to transport over to the to the the Congress. If a member of Congress know, knew that knew those facts, then they're in trouble. Knight of Cups. 
when the uh, we know that members of the Proud Boys and the Oath Keepers flipped, they were offered something. They were offered a deal. Now we've got the Knights here and the Wheel of Fortune and the Death card and the Death card. So I feel this is uh, in all, well, judging from these cards, see if we can get a major arcana. Okay, the full card. Um, risky new beginnings. Uh, moving out of troubled waters. Okay, so always the higher, the higher view here is that even though we feel disappointed, we just wanted to see indictments the next day. That's not how it was going to play out. And even though we're disappointed, this is a wider investigation. And it was the only way that Garland could do it if it involved members of Congress. Now, my reading here is that it did. It does. Okay, so we'll watch this space. Now, uh, will he indict uh, the former failed president? Um, will he indict him on the classified documents case? That's where I want to go there. Let's cut this beautiful deck, get some new energies into it. Will Jack Smith be able to indict? This also removes Judge Cannon as well. I think that these special counsel laws uh, sort of override override what Judge Cannon was trying to do in Florida. Um, okay, and Judge Deary as well in New York. Um, it's it's all really a moot point now, isn't it? Okay, so there's another reason. There's another reason why Garland might have gone this way. All right, so Will Jack Smith, special counsel Jack Smith, used to prosecuting war criminals in The Hague, will Jack Smith be able to indict the former failed President Trump fairly quickly. Are we going to see an indictment on the stolen uh, classified documents fairly quickly? Are we going to see this indictment fairly quickly? My feeling is, so I've got the lying here. Um, my feeling is that the obstruction case is pretty, pretty clear. So we have here the three of hearts, three of swords, three of hearts. Uh, this is like divorce, betrayal, Betrayal, loss as a signifier card, and the magician has come up here. So I think for some reason Garland couldn't, even though he's got the ev evidence to prosecute, there was something, given the way that Trump has tied up the courts, there was some advantage in, in putting this before the special counsel. Um, let's keep going. We've got the death card here as the foundation, the ending, you know, something being over. The eight of pentacles, the work has already been done. That's my feeling here. Uh, in the sky, we've got the ace of, ace of pentacles, new starts. It's also a very, very, you know, strong money card, isn't it? Um, the devil is in the immediate future toxicity being chained to something that kind of sums up uh you know not being able to get to the truth being thwarted by the actions that trump took in the courts i see that it's been very difficult for for garland to even to get this far even though when we look upon it we go that shouldn't happen well it's a pretty clear signal that the system needs reform, doesn't it? If Garland can't move on such an obvious case quickly and it gets tied up in a court where it's a partisan court under Cannon in Florida who overstepped, outstepped, didn't have the jurisdiction. Now we've got the Knight of Pentacles coming here again and the Four. Okay, holding on to evidence. There's a, yeah. So... There's Trump is still has still got some evidence is what I'm seeing. The uh, emperor is in the hopes and fears control. 
So he's put the control back in the, the government government's path. Now we have the Seven of Cups here. That's having to make a choice. Having to make a choice. There are good choices and there are bad choices. And here we have the Queen of Wands again. Um, I must do Lisa Monaco's uh, chart because I think that's my signifier card for her. Uh, and we've got the page of wands now. So there will be at least, I think, one indictment. Uh, they haven't decided right now. They're still deciding. Um, we've got the uh, four of wands. This is home, family, the king, king of uh, cups here. Uh, and we've got the government and the truth. So the energies are good underneath this. It's saying that they're on track to indict. They have gone beyond Trump's efforts to muddy the waters. I'm thinking about that Ace of Pentacles. First one plan doesn't succeed, they go to plan B, and that is the special counsel. I'd like to uh, just clarify this Ace of Pentacles. What is this crowning the reading? What is this Ace of Pentacles? But that would be espionage, wouldn't it? Um, mm, restriction. Restriction. Um, and we've got the Page of Pentacles. They need to restrict. They can't ignore this. They need to uh, move forward with this case. It's not giving and receiving help. It's underneath, as well as the King of Pentacles. My signifier card for Donald Trump. They can't be seen to give him help. Uh, loans and debts. There's something more than just I took these documents because I, in my weirded out mind, thought that they were mine to keep. There's something a little bit more sinister there as well. It seems to me these cards are saying obstruction charge will come quick, reasonably quickly, but there is more here, uh, more evidence that Trump is withholding and there's something a little bit sinister beyond just I took the documents because I thought that I they were mine. Okay, so um, that's where I think we'll see one charge coming pretty quickly and that's the obstruction charge. All right, now on to uh, Twitter. Mm, I could write a book on Twitter and what has occurred in a very short time under Elon Musk. Um, as you know, he let uh, the former failed president or the fail former former president who fails, not failed, who fails, uh, they he reinstigated, re reinstated uh, his account. And Trump has said, I'm not going to post here because um, I've got a con. Well, he didn't say it, but he's contractually obliged to not to post uh, because of his part in his ownership, his shares uh, of Truth Social. So uh, people invested in Truth Social with him being the asset and uh, he can't tank his own site. So that's why he's not posting. I think it's killing him. I think he would love to post and I, and I think he will in the future once he finds a way around things. Okay, so um, Musk, the question being... It, did he, has he been financed by foreign powers to intentionally destroy America's town square? In that case, $44 billion would be quite a cheap bargain to destroy it. Okay, so the shareholders or the fi his financiers, Qatar, Qatar, China, the Saudi Arabia. Remember the price of petrol dropped straight after the midterms? It's not such a big conspiracy theory. It's not such a big leap to think this. All right, it's, it's, let's straight up and down. Who? Who am I seeing? I'm seeing like the Ayatollah. I'm seeing Iran here. Why am I seeing Iran? Russia and Iran are, are, are very close in terms of their orthodoxy dressed up as control. All right. 
did Musk buy Twitter to destroy it? Did Musk... I'm seeing the crown of a king. Did Musk... Well, he thinks he's king. Did Musk buy Twitter to destroy it? So we've got the full card, Major Arcana, coming out as a signifier card in the chariot. So two yes cards on the surface of it. However, let's go a, a bit further than that. He was going to uh, completely reorient it very, very quickly. We've got the justice, the scales of justice and balance. I said originally in my earlier readings when he first mooted, would he buy it? I said he's lie, there's a lie here. This is for entertainment purposes only. There's some kind of deception. And I felt that something occurred in 2018 with Trump where he agreed to do something. For in return for something else. Now we have justices at the foundation of the reading. The crossroads card in the past, having to make a decision. Who and what is he beholden to? The knight of uh, the knight of swords, truth is crowning this reading. We're going to find out. We're going to find out why he's done what he's done. He's keeping secrets. I feel like, you know, like that, duh, that saying, like, yeah, of course. But the thing about, this is also use your intuition. What do you think? Why he has done what he's done? You let me know in the comments. The thing about keeping secrets is that they don't stay secret for long. There's a quickness here, a quickness about this whole whole process and yes I agree there um, and we've got partisanship fighting <sighs> that kind of sums up Twitter right now in the hopes and fears the the hanged man and uh, I think that was one of my uh, my outcome cards when I read on him and I said I thought the deal would be suspended uh, he, you know, in the hopes and fears, this is, did he, did he do it to, to destroy it, slow it down, suspend it? That's not out of the question either. We've got the King of Pentacles in the outcome. The oligarch, Trump. We've got the Queen of Wands as well. What is this? The world card. Oh, God. They're all yes out, very strong yes outcome cards. There's no no need for clarification here. The world is an ending. It's showing up. The fool is number one or zero, uh, the beginning of something, and the uh, world is the end of the journey here. Uh, I'm getting a very strong pull to helping Trump, and we've got uh, we've got control. The Emperor card, the Empress. Oh, crikey. This is pretty, um, the fact I've got, and the Hierophant card, the fact I've got three major arcanas and justice and the fool and the world card, and the hanged man, and these underneath the pack should tell you that there was control, potentially Russia as well. And the Hierophant shows me that even though the American government has been slow to act on this absolute abysmal, I don't know how, how else to describe it, um, the government is going to get involved. Maybe the timing of this was all pre-calculated uh, and there's going to be an investigation. Remember the Democrats will hold, ha I have got the Senate likely to increase even they've increased their majority maybe uh get uh georgia back again reverend warnock and you haven't seen anything yet because i think those lawmakers are going to really look at what's going on on twitter hate speech porn i think twitter's going to be 
I think, I don't know under what law, but once the Democrats get back in the Senate, there will be violations found. Uh, my question was, is he intentionally trying to destroy it? I think I've probably answered that question. The uh, They were strong yes cards. It's like he wants to end it. All right, so will it survive? Will it survive? Will it survive? I'm feeling that it goes down for a short while and then it comes back up. Oh yeah, it's mortally wounded. I'm just seeing that uh, it has to it has to go down for a little while before it is resurrected. Will Twitter survive? Will Twitter survive? Show me, please. We have here the uh, something coming to fruition in time, holding the world in their hands. Okay, so being patient, uh, something coming to fruition in time. This is sabotage. <laughs> Abuse of power, sabotage. Um, cards are speaking fairly clearly today. Um, we've got the sun card as the foundation of the reading, full illumination. It'll be clear. Um, I mean, this is like five of pentacles, money loss. There's a great deal of, even though it's only Twitter, there's a great deal of sadness um, around people leaving Twitter after deca you know, a decade or more of use. In the sky, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and this speaks to the people with skill. Uh, this could, there could be, it could crash because of a lack of um, basically software, software engineers and expertise. The immediate future, we have the King of Cups, mature, a mature hand. Uh, equally, if this is reversed, it's immaturity. Um, I think that the I think that the government is going to get involved in this. We have the nine of Pentacles, independence, wealth, uh, and the the nine of Cups. A lot of nines here. Money, wish fulfillment. Will it survive? The nine of Pentacles in the hopes and fears. That's reliability and sustainability. But it's only in the hopes and fears. The outcome card is the world card. That was in the last reading, an ending and a new beginning. And we've got restriction. There is going to be restriction on Twitter when the government gets up and running. And we have here something that is going to come out of left field that we don't know about. Uh, this is foreign, foreign ownership. Uh, and then we have the eight of wands. So it's like it does go down and then it comes back up, but there's a there's some kind of fairly lengthy investigation. There's a walking a high wire high wire rope here, the lack of guardrails, um, the past and the and the star card. So I think there's hope it will survive, but it's got a very very rocky 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 future. And in the end, I think that the government does has to get involved here. You can't have a site like that that is, here's what's happening. High profile accounts that have never followed Trump's dormant account, which has been reinstated, never followed him, never would follow him. They find that they've now followed him. That's not an accident. It's not an accident. I've done, I've captured the screen, uh, screenshots. I had to end up blocking him for fear that I would wake up one morning and find I've followed Donald Trump. Big high-profile accounts, Bot Sentinel, uh, Christopher uh, Bucci, is it? Bucci? Um, Moolah, she wrote. Uh, high-profile accounts that would never have followed Trump uh, are waking up one morning and finding they're now following him. That's not an accident. That's manipulation. So... Um, I think Musk has lost his mind. One more question before I go, and that is, you've seen the the Republicans, Paul Ryan, the former uh, Speaker of the House, <sighs> duplicitous Bill Barr, <laughs> um, the governors, some of the Republican governors coming out and saying, we've got to move on from Trump if we want to win an election, because if Trump is our leader, then... We won't win. We sort of hope that 
that he is, don't we? Sort of, sort of. Okay, will the majority of Republicans support the failed former president, Donald Trump, as the GOP, the Republican candidate for the presidency in 2024? Will Donald Trump be, will the majority of Republicans support Donald Trump to be the presidential candidate in 2024? <laughs> scales of justice will get him before before then. You know that. I said he will not be the president in 2024. I've said he will be indicted before then. There's the card. <laughs> they want to restrict him as much as we do. In fact, I said in my last reading, I think some members of the Republican Party will start to spill the beans on his crimes. And then a few days later, General Kelly came out and said he sent the IRS after his political enemies. <laughs> they want to move on. <laughs> they really want to move on. Now, we've got strength here. Strength. Strength of uh, what you'll see. The Republicans want to win. Um, now, we have the uh, King of Wands here. I think it's the King. Uh, the King of Wands. Yes, it is. I'm pretty sure it's the King. King or Queen. It's hard to tell with this new deck. Anyway, that's in the past. The passion, the drive for supporting him is gone, basically, except amongst his uh, cult, and that's where we should never underestimate him. We have something that's going to be revealed. I still think that Republicans are going to. They're leaking. They're leaking on him. They're no friend to him at all. They want to win the elections. They're moving away from him. These are all really indicative cards that they want to get away from him as quickly as possible. The voters in the here and now want a new start. It's the suburban women want a new start. Okay, so hopes and fears, divorce, <laughs> betrayal. The outcome card is the Queen of Pentacles. So national security as well. I'm going to say for those, you know, reasonable Republicans, they see him as a national security threat. They want a new start. This is pretty clear. The majority of um, Republicans want him gone and they won't, they won't, with this world card, be voting for him by the time it gets to the primary season. Interesting. She here she is again. That was the king. Queen of Wands, she keeps coming up. Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Star Card, women. Ah yeah. The Republicans know they have a problem with their suburban women. Um and women will not will not get behind Donald Trump. I know you can quote the cults, but no. Okay, no. No, no, no. They'll vote a Democrat, a reasonable de Democrat, before they'd vote for him. So, no, they're not going to get behind him. Uh, he is doomed to fail. The astrology says it. The cards say it. Have always said it. All right, so make the most of it now. Uh, watch him go down in flames. It's good for the Democrats and, you know, keeping the Republicans and their extremist agenda out of out of uh, government. I'm still uh, going to say watch this space where the House, uh, the House is concerned uh, for all the reasons I've outlined here. Will Donald Trump go to jail? Go back and have a look at my other readings. All right, I think that's going to be it. I'll be back again soon. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all your support, people. Bye for now.